For over 15 years, Sled Chili has given riders from all over the world an escape to go ride snow in the summertime. Yeah, but it's um, expired. No, seriously. I got your voicemail about getting stuff ready for chili and passport, and I have some um, news that you probably don't want to hear today. <laughs> my, pass my passport's expired. Here's your breakfast. Thanks, sweetie. Yep. Wait, so Daddy, this goes in Hey, Matt. Yep, this is the corner here. Matt. Yep. Mail from this morning. Oh, are uh, you serious? Yeah. Jury duty. I beat everybody to climb. Can't tell I'm excited. But today is the day that we're all gonna pile in a climb pickup. And Dustin Pancary, and then the two winners, Nick and his girlfriend, Olivia, that uh, entered into the backpack challenge this last winter. And all you had to do was go out and take a video of yourself practicing with your gear. And Nick ended up winning. And the grand prize was to get to go to Chile with Matt Entz, Dustin Pancary, myself, and now Blake Media. And uh, yeah, pretty damn excited to get this thing started. Oh, hey! Guess what today is, boys we're, and we're, girls? We're following orders. <laughs> <laughs> These two, what time did you guys get up? All right. All right, so we made it to Chile. Um, well, I think most of us made it to Chile. Uh, Dustin, Dan made it. Matt is still stuck. Last I heard, he's heading to Columbia uh, to get on a jumper flight. So if uh, Matt shows up riding on a donkey to slide Chile, you know why. Update number 837, it seems like, or something like that. Um, the delayed flight to Bogota, Colombia. We am getting on the plane out of Houston, headed for Bogota. So we landed in Colombia. Have no clue where to go, what to do. Dan, I got the funniest video of you. You were passed out, mouth wide open. I took a selfie video with you. <laughs> Everybody in the in the plane was looking at me like I was freaking nuts. Yeah, what do you got there? Is that the Chris Brand special? <laughs> no actual coffee. No, they no just have really coffee. great creamer donut. Like creamer to here, a little bit of foam on the top, and then I just pour a bunch of sugar over the top of that. Oh no, dude! Locally roasted. I watched him put it together. They literally picked it right outside the oh, airport. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we went. Oh, hey. Hold on. Let Daddy take care of you. I got to get you guys some money. <laughs> <laughs> so that'll be 12. Thanks, Dad. That'll be 12,000 pesos. I think it's, I think he, I think he said it's, uh, whatever. He said it's um, a, a thousand pesos, so one U.S., so that's $10. Okay. Perfect. So. Yeah. Thanks, dude. Yep. Good to see you. Thanks, Dan. <laughs> there we are. Our, our adventures. I mean, it's, they haven't even been on snow yet, and we're already like lost in the trees. <laughs> Got the first sighting of snow. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. Uh, two volcanoes that look insanely huge that are just plastered white.
year has just been kind of an anomaly for us. You know, I've been coming down for the last 10 seasons um, to this part of South America. And we're just so used to having lots of snow. You know, we have guests that were here a week ago and they thought we put a bunch of new fences in because um, they're so used to coming down here and the fences being under, you know, meters of snow and being able to snowmobile right across them. So for us to have a season this year where it's such a challenge to access the snow that is up high, um, it's a challenge for us for sure, but it still creates the adventure. Snow line's quite a bit higher than where we are, so we'll truck and trailer and we'll go find it. So CLIMB has become very passionate in avalanche safety. A few of us there have been personally affected by avalanche tragedies and we've spent the last four or five years trying to figure out ways to motivate and inspire the snowmobile community to invest in themselves and get a higher level of avalanche education. And as we've gone through some ideas on how to do that, uh, we kind of realized that if we could create a competition that had just this ultimate grand prize it would make people more willing to get involved. And we thought to ourselves, man, what's just that dream come true prize that, that would motivate almost anybody to do it? And we realized that it was, it was riding in July in the heat of the summer when everybody's you know, ready to get out of the heat. And, and man, if they could just go snowmobiling, and you know, that would be the ultimate snowmobile kind of dream vacation, right? So we teamed up with uh, Sled Chili in South America and created the Avi Pullet Challenge. Uh, just basically a competition designed to where someone is filming themselves practicing with their avalanche safety gear, deploying it, and then they have to post that to their social media and that's how they enter the competition. And we started the competition at Heydays in September and we ran it all through the season, give people plenty of time, and then we ended it at Jackson where we did a live drawing for one lucky winner and then they could bring a guest on this dream vacation trip to travel to South America in July in the heat of the summer to go snowmobiling. Matt and I have, have, have got to do a lot of really cool things in our, in our lives and, and snowmobile careers. And these are, these are great opportunities. You know, during that same time frame, Matt and I are helping with the All American Heroes Foundation and being able to give a snowmobile to a veteran on that same Sunday. It's just an amazing feeling and such a cool way for us to just you know, kind of give back in, in, in all things like that you and I are associated with them and to see these people's faces that are just so selfless and it's just an awesome experience. Well, along with that, uh, during that day and having this where we'd already marketed all of this that we were gonna announce the winner on that Sunday and just the way it all went down and Dustin Pancarry being able to, you know, come to Matt and I and show us that, you know, we had, they had selected a winner and it was Nick. I ended up getting this call from Idaho Falls and most of the calls I get from Idaho Falls are spam, so didn't even answer it, just sent it straight to voicemail. And kept doing what I was doing and looked at my phone a few minutes later and saw I had a voicemail and so I'm like listening to it and it's Dan and Matt and Dustin all calling me, telling me that I need to pick up my phone and answer. And so I call them back really quick and I'm like, wait, 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 you know, <laughs> I'm here, I'm here. 
and ended up talking to them and it worked out really well that I was close enough that they wanted us to come down to Jackson. Yeah, first thanks to Clyde for putting this on. Everybody that practiced with their gear, this is all about preparedness. Having the right gear to ride in the backcountry, practicing with it, knowing where your stuff is, and please keep that up, guys. And uh, Dan, why don't you tell us who's going to Chile with us? All right, I am super stoked for these two. You guys give a huge round of applause to Nick Lippin. There he is, right here. Going to South America. And he's got Olivia going with him. Just so happens this guy is the guide of a Togedi Mountain Lodge. And we are going to shred. Yeah, thank you. All in all, this experience is something that I 100% would recommend to anybody that, that thinks they're maybe even interested in, in seeing what it's about. Just hats off to Sled Chili and also to Chris Brandt for helping build this into what it is. It played such a huge role. And yeah. It's awesome you got to come down here and work with, alongside him and experience that. But such a, such a cool thing and, and anybody that thinks they're interested, if you can figure out how to make it work, I, I would say absolutely do it. Yeah, and just the amount of improvements from 2019 to now, I mean, Caesar's on the gas. This whole, this, this business that he's built and what he's doing here in terms of lodging and just the updates that he's made to the shops and just like even what we're in right now, um, the food has been incredible. You food that we've shots eaten of is that. insane. It's just, it's just the most unreal thing. So it's, it, is, it is first class. Everything yeah. about this place is just as good as it gets. We obviously can't predict the weather, nor can they. You get here and we have shallow snow. Well, guess what? You know, we're still going to make so many memories and see so many things yeah. that there's a component to this that I actually really like. I was here when there was snow. There was so much about our area and so many of the volcanoes guys that were just blanketed in cloud cover. And to be here on blue sky days and really take it all in. It's not just this like snowmobile vacation, right? It's about being in Chile, understanding the culture, the people. Yeah the history behind some of this lava flow. I mean, there were so many unique things that I, I didn't experience the last time. So I'm feeling like just as fulfilled, you know, we get to ride snowmobiles a lot. And we're entering a national preserve yeah. to park, to go snowmobiling. It's, I mean, this place is sacred and, and awesome and we're riding snowmobiles yeah, yeah. on it. And we're riding snowmobiles that it's not like, like you'd said, there's no dealer down the road. Like these are snowmobiles that have all been, you know, put into containers and whether it was through Chris or, or Caesar and just how much work, how much effort it's yeah. taken, everything that you see behind you, everything that's here, there's none of the stuff that's just right down the road. And so the idea that every bit of this, it just took so much timing, so much work, so much effort to put together. It's just an unreal opportunity for anybody. So if you need to go snowmobiling in Chile and kind of fill that void, which so many of you guys watching this are sitting there licking your lips like, yeah, this is what I want to go do. We're just here to tell you that, uh, yeah, don't wait. Yeah, I would do it again in a heartbeat. Absolutely.